This is my house near Kyiv. I've lived here all my life with my mama, my little sister and my dog Ella. Every morning I help mama do the cleaning and shopping before I walk to school. We first heard them talking about a war on TV. I was worried, but we didn't think it would happen to us. Then, only one morning, when the sky was still dark, our lives changed forever. Danger crept into our village. The Russian military were coming. Mama and I covered the windows with blankets as we hid indoors. The sound of gunfire ran out all day long. In the moments of silence, I peeked behind the curtains to have a look outside. Mama took pictures of the Russian soldiers and sent them to friends who forwarded them to the Ukrainian military. Shortly afterwards, the Russians were attacked by our artillery. Mama began to worry the Russians would find out what we did. Then, one night, we felt a huge explosion. It lit up my bedroom, shaking the house and waking us up. Smoke filled our kitchen where Mama was standing. She was trying to put out the flames. She told us to leave. I grabbed my sister and we ran. We didn't even have time to look back at our house. And we didn't know where we were going. And so we kept running through other people's gardens. The sound of bullets whistling near our feet. We kept moving. That's when we found help. A man was helping families to evacuate. So we climbed into his car and drove as fast as we could out of the village. But then his car ran out of electricity. We were stuck on the road. I saw cars on fire, people lying inside them. What was going to happen to us? It was chaos. Our driver stopped another car, fleeing the village. They were driving to Zhitomyr. The car was crowded, with nine of us packed inside. But we made it. We survived. When the fighting in our village stopped, we drove back home. I remember seeing our house for the first time. It was completely destroyed. But Ella was still there, looked after by a neighbor. She reminds us of how normal our lives used to be. Now, I just want all this to end. I want to go back to school, play the piano and build back our life as best we can. I want to live as we did before.